are your photos too sharp? More importantly, are my photos too sharp? These days, we're all told that our photos have to be sharp. There is so many YouTube tutorials on sharpening our photos. But this is my question for you today. Are we over sharpening our photo? There is a very fine line. And I have to admit, I'm guilty of this too. Here's a sample of what over sharpening looks like. This is beautiful. It's a little water dragon just in my pond. Here is the photo that I over sharpened and I thought was great, but it's not. It is over sharpened. Let's have a conversation about this. Now take a look at this tree here, photographed just after sunrise. It is beautiful early morning light. Do you think that this image needs to be tack sharp? Let's zoom in to 100%. Look at it now. It's not sharp, is it? It's a little bit soft, but this is nature. This is what that tree looks like. Unless I'm right up close to it, within 60 centimeters of it, nothing is going to be sharp. So unless you're zoomed in real close to it, that tree is not supposed to be sharp. The bark on the tree, the leaves on the tree, are not supposed to be sharp. Now take a look at this historical hut that I photographed in the scenic rim. Looks very nice. And this photo is sharp. Well, sharp-ish. Look at it 100%. You can see the corrugated iron is sharp-ish, but it's not razor sharp. Look at the post on the hut. There's still a little bit of blue. There's still a soft edge there. This is what our photos should look like. I've been drawn into over sharpening my photos. I guess I've fallen down the rabbit hole that a lot of photographers are falling down to these days. There's so many tutorials about is your photo sharp? How to get sharp photos? Well, especially over the last 18 months, I've done this. And it's only like in the last four or five months that I was just going through my old photos and looking and like, I like my old photos better than the ones now. What am I doing wrong to my photos? And then I realized, hey, I've got programs that sharpen my images, but am I pushing this too far? And I've had to admit to myself, yes, I've pushed it too far. So I've gone back into some of my best photos that I've taken over the last 18 months and reduced the sharpness and then looked at them on my big 32 inch screen and go like, wow, I actually prefer this photo than the one that I sharpen. And realistically, over sharpen. It looks more real. I want to show you how easy it is to over sharpen your photos with some examples of some landscape photos, some bird photos, and some plants to show you how easy it is just to push that needle from being a nice image to over sharpen. And believe me, there is a very fine line. And a lot of the time we don't realize that we've over sharpened our images. Unless we have somebody close to us who's very good at critiquing the photos and who knows that we'll take it the right way. And this is what happened to me. Somebody said like, Charles, I like your photos, but to me, they're not real anymore. They look like they're a 2D image. It looks like you've drawn this bird in. I can see a sharp line. I've had to step back and look and go, hey, they're right. So here are two examples of some landscape images that I've over sharpened. One is taken at the beach and another one is taken just at the base of a waterfall with flowing water. Now here is a classic example of when not to sharpen or over sharpen your image. I'm facing east. The sun has just set behind me, but we've got this golden glow on the foreground here. I really like this image, and this is why I took it at one tenth of a second. I just wanted a bit of motion in the waves. Now zoom in so we can see this crashing wave. Now this is the unsharpened, and I'll run the slider across now. And look, the water looks like icicles, but look at this. This is blurred. Yes, it's a bit soft, but this is what I want. I want motion. Is motion supposed to be this sharp? Not at all. This looks so unrealistic. This is what we have to be careful of when we sharpen our images, whether we use Topaz Sharpen AI or whether we're just sharpening the image in Adobe Lightroom. This looks 
natural. Now look at this image here of flowing water. On the right here, you can see I've sharpened the image by adding texture and clarity in Adobe Lightroom. On the left is the image that I processed in 2021 before I over sharpened a lot of my images. Looking back now, I realize that I've gone overboard. I've had to step back and unsharpen some of my images. You can clearly see on the right here, look what's happened to the flowing water. It's not smooth anymore, is it? A long exposure like this image here is not supposed to be sharp. It's supposed to be nice and smooth like this image here. Can you see how easy it is just to over sharpen landscape images? You can clearly see this because I've shown you the before and after. But if you're just working on a single image, it's very easy to fall into that trap. And in Lightroom, we have a tool that can easily show us this. Not how over sharpen our images, but of before and after. And it's called the YY button underneath your image. And if you click that, you will see a before and after. So you'll see if it's a raw image, you'll see the raw image on the left. And on the right is the image that you've processed, that you've edited. And when you look at that, look carefully at the sharpening of it. And then you can say, well, I've got to back off on the texture slider. I've got to back off on the clarity slider. I've got to be careful how I use dehaze. Or if you're using a program like Topaz AI Sharpen, well, I've got to be very careful when I use this. Now let's take a look at a few wildlife images and how easy it is to over sharpen a wildlife image. So look at this image here of this bird. It looks quite nice and it sort of blends into the background. And when we zoom in, we can see there's no sharp edges, but now we can see all the feathers. But for me, there's a sharp outline here of the bird. Is it supposed to be like a, a 2D effect? For me, it's not. And this is what I've struggled with. And like I stated, I've gone back to not over sharpening my images. The bird does look nice. We can see a lot of detail in the feathers, but there's a very fine line between over sharpening and just leaving it as nature. Because when we zoom out, the bird looks good. It looks natural. Now, with the sharpening added to it, not just the bird, but look at the foreground. Everything is so sharp and it shouldn't be this sharp. Compared to this image here, can you see this little female wren? This looks real. This bird just blends into the background. And if I zoom in at 100%, you can see that the outline of the bird is soft. It's not rigid. It's not supposed to be rigid. If we look at this more hen here that I took a few years ago before I sort of got wrapped up in we need to sharpen our images we need to our images to be pin sharp this more hen here looks beautiful and if I zoom into a hundred percent look the edges of the more hen they are nice and soft they're not sharp the more hen blends into our background it's not like I've drawn an outline of this bird into my image I've not over sharpened this image. Did you see in the first image here of the common mire? When I sharpened the image, I pushed it too much because I wanted all the details in the feathers, in the beak, in the eye. But what I didn't notice when I did this was that the edge of the bird, the outline, was too sharp. It was like I got a 4H pencil and just drew the outline. This is what we have to be careful of. And it's in the edges a lot of the time that we can see if we've over sharpened our images. And you notice the other one, the little fairy wren? It looks beautiful. Why? Because it just looks like the bird is just sitting there and it blends into the background. And that's what it looks like in real life. When you're looking at a little bird or a little lizard, are you really going to see all the outline? Or does that bird just sit there and just sort of blends in the background? Have you ever seen a bird with sharp images? No, they're not a Lego block. They don't have sharp edges. They're just round. And that's what we have to really be careful of when we're sharpening our wildlife images. Now let's take a look at a couple of plant images. Look at this tree fern leaf here. Looks beautiful, doesn't it? It's just starting its life. 
it's slowly extending it hasn't opened up all the way so look at it at 100 percent looks nice doesn't it but when i looked at this the hairs they'll actually become leaves later on and i looked and i go like there's not enough detail i want this sharper so what did i do well i wasn't happy enough so i used topaz ai sharpen and this is what i got look at it now it looks very nice well it might but in reality if you looked at this in the forest would it be that sharp no it wouldn't here's a comparison between what the image looked like before i left lightroom after reducing the texture and the clarity and what the image looks like on the right once i've used topaz ai sharpen look on the left it's just a bit soft on the right again it looks like i've just drawn the outline here's another example of how easy it is to over sharpen an image it looks really good like this and when i zoom into 100 percent you can see the flower looks very nice but it looks a little bit soft this is nature nothing is pin sharp we're not doing macro photography here all we're trying to do is get a very nice photo of this flower and when you look at the whole image it looks very nice when you edit your image it's supposed to represent what your subject looks like when you look at it and this is what it looks like to my eye now this is when i've sharpened the image it looks much better are the leaves really that sharp on the left here it hasn't been sharpened on the right it has been sharpened you can really see in the middle here look how sharp the edges of all these little petals are in real life they're not that sharp there's always some softness in the flower petals and this is what we have to remember when we sharpen our images it is so easy to over sharpen our images as you can see in these examples it's very easy to push your sharpening too much to over sharpen your images if i've fallen into this trap so can you i've woken up and right yeah i've got to reduce that sharpening i've got to make sure that i just don't push these sliders or not use topaz ai sharpen just in auto mode i've got to be very careful of that i'm not saying don't sharpen your images what i'm saying is be careful about over sharpening images if you've liked this video and found value in it give it a big thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do i really appreciate everybody that subscribes to my channel enjoy your photography bye for now